Greetings, dear listeners, to another intriguing journey into the realm of horary astrology. I am William Lilly, and today we're going to explore a question that has captivated the minds of many throughout history, the uncertainty of pregnancy. We'll delve into the astrological insights that can shed light on this enigmatic inquiry. So without further ado, let's unlock the celestial secrets. When a woman who is uncertain whether she is pregnant and wants to know the truth asks you this question, provide an answer after carefully considering the chart you've constructed based upon the time of her inquiry and follow these directions. You can deduce that she is pregnant by looking at the ruler of the ascendant or the moon and seeing if it forms any aspect or alignment with the ruler of the fifth house. If the ruler of the ascendant and the moon are both in the fifth house, not negatively influenced by challenging aspects from unfavorable planets and moving in a direct motion, is a positive testimony. You need to look beyond just Saturn and Mars or the South Node as the sole unfortunate planets, and when I say Saturn and Mars, I mean planets, not the nodes. Any negative aspects from the ruler of the 6th, 8th, or 12th houses, regardless of the specific planet, would indicate an affliction if they form squares or oppositions to the ruler of the 5th house, the ruler of the ascendant, or the moon. Jupiter positioned in the 1st, 5th, 11th, or 7th house is generally favorable as long as it is not forming aspects to Saturn or Mars as they are slow-moving or if they are retrograde. If the ruler of the Ascendant or the ruler of the Fifth House forms an aspect with a planet in an angular house with a reception and the planet in question provides support, then there's a potential outcome for pregnancy. Similarly, if the moon is in reception with any planet in an angular house and that planet is essentially fortified, it's a hopeful sign, but not a definite confirmation as accidental dignities in this method of interpretation offer hope rather than absolute certainty. If the ruler of the Ascendant forms a friendly aspect with the Ascendant itself from a positive house, or if the Moon is in the Seventh House and forms a connection with the ruler of the Seventh in the Eleventh House, or if the Moon is in the Eleventh House and forms a connection with the ruler of the Seventh in the Seventh House. If the ruler of the Ascendant is placed in either its own house, triplicity, or exaltation, and the recipient of this ruler also holds a similar dignity in the same house, triplicity, exaltation, or term as the ruler of the ascendant. If the moon imparts its influence or light to a planet in the fifth house, or holds essential dignities within the fifth house. If the moon is approaching an aspect with the ruler of the ascendant, or the ruler of the fifth house, while in the first or tenth house, and these rulers are not in cadent houses away from their own house or exaltation. A planet is considered weak in relation to its own house when, for instance, Mars is in Aries, its own house. Even if Mars is in any of the twelve houses, it's still considered angular since it's in Aries. However, if Mars is in Taurus, it's in a succeeding house. If Mars is in Gemini, it's considered cadent since it's not in its own house. This rule applies to all planets when they are in their respective houses. Further to other indications, the dispositor of the moon and the ruler of the current hour are positioned in angular houses. If Mars is in the seventh house, it indicates recent conception, provided it's well fortified. If Saturn is in the seventh house, it suggests quickening or the movement of the infant. If Jupiter is in the seventh house, it signifies the conception of a male child. If Sagittarius or Pisces is in the seventh house, it indicates the pregnancy of a girl. Note that this interpretation applies when all other indicators are equal and the judgment is not tipped in any direction. If Sagittarius or Pisces is found in the seventh house, it suggests a girl. Additionally, if the moon in the fifth house is moving toward an aspect with Jupiter or Venus, will reinforce the outcome. To ensure accurate predictions of conception, 
a fixed rising sign with a favourable planet or the ruler of the fifth house being strong in the ascendant or tenth house should be present. And there you have it, a voyage through the cosmos to unlock the answer you seek. Remember, dear listeners, astrology weaves intricate patterns that offer insights into all the mysteries of life. Until our next exploration, stay curious, and may the stars illuminate your path. I am William Lely, and this is Christian Astrology.